Within the last hour, Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew, who you see here, spoke on youth violence after a shooting sent three teens to the hospital. Those boys are recovering tonight. That shooting happened last night in the East End neighborhood. The person or people responsible are still on the run, but the chief says investigators believe this was a targeted act. Angelique Arentock has more. Neighbors and community activists say they're saddened to learn about this latest act of violence involving teens in their community. Tonight, Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew also shares his response to the shooting. This is not a random act. We believe that the individuals involved uh, know each other, have known each other for quite some time, and have some arguments that have been going on in it is escalated. Newport News police officers say they responded to 26th Street on Wednesday. Zaris Willis is relatively new to the East End neighborhood. He recalls hearing several gunshots just before 9 o'clock at night. Sad. Everybody is, is like a war out here. You know, it's, it's bad. Investigators say the shooting left three teenagers hurt. Two are 15 year old boys and one is a 17 year old boy, according to police. A spokesperson adds all of them had to go to the hospital and all should survive. But by the grace of God, we're not planning three funerals today. Adrian Cook advocates for young people on the peninsula with his nonprofit, Let Our Voices Empower. He says he's eager to keep working alongside other community organizers in hopes of making a difference. I just wanted to get to a point where our youth and our teens out here can feel safe. In Newport News, Angelique Aaron Talk, 13 News Now. Chief Drew says detectives executed search warrants and recovered a firearm from what's believed to be the suspect car. The chief is confident there will be an arrest in this case.